Let's get into it. We got US Open going on. Crazy. Insane. Crazy matches, upsets all over the place. Let's let's get into it. Well, we were, you know, it's amazing to watch because it's like this is the first US Open or first Grand Slam in a while that we've seen that actually where it's like a complete toss up. We really like, it's genuine. Like, I feel like, you know, usually we watch women's tennis, right? And we're like, oh, who's going to win upsets left and right? You know, you have some 16 year old out of nowhere who's just, you know, done well in juniors or not even, it hasn't even done that well in pros, whatever, comes mm-hmm. in, freaking, you know, d- destroys the, the, the world number 10, and everyone's like, what the hell? This is now happening in men's tennis. This is the first time we've seen that in a while, specifically in this tournament, specifically in the US yeah, Open, yeah. where it's just like, we really don't know what's going to happen. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a straight up, you know, the big, I mean, Djokovic is the only one who's like kind of, you know, yeah. because it used to be just like the big three and it's like, oh, who out of the big three is going right. to you know, succeed? Yeah. But now it's like a toss up. So it it's is. amazing. It is. And you have, you know, we have uh, you know, a few players, like you mentioned, Nadal. Uh, Federer team, some of these guys that aren't playing that were there in the contendership for you know to win the tournament yeah. to kind of to kind of give Djokovic a run for his money, and now you know it's. Uh, <laughs> I mean, we talked about this last time. Murray lost. Yeah. Chilich yeah. lost. Which hold on. Yeah. I should. I I feel bad because oh, yeah, you got I words. talked I talked you some mad some shit. I, got no, I right. was like Murray's not gonna even come close to getting set. Yeah. What a legend! Yeah. What a legend! Yeah. I, I mean, mean t- took him to five sets. It's, it's incredible. I like honestly, like I'll I'll take that on the channel. I'll eat yeah. my words, yeah. like good on him. Yeah. You know, what a beast! What I, a legend! I predicted. I predicted. Uh, you said it was gonna be. I predicted. No, no, not that one. I predicted. Um, Madison Keys to beat Sloan. Yeah. And that was a close one. I really... That Slow, really that hurt. Because it was 7-6 <laughs> in the third. I was watching. I was like, come on, Madison. No, prove me right. No. Um, but, yeah, no, we've had a... Listen, we've had a crazy tournament. We have all these players that are uh, that are in the contendership. Yeah. Guys that, like, we've some of them barely heard from. You know what I mean? That are just... That are stepping up. Um, and uh, it's... it's And it, you're right. It is. Men's tennis now is the new women's tennis. Where anybody can win, right? We have openings all over the place, and sure, we have our like we'll ha- we have our few top people that are obviously expected right, to do right. extremely well. But I just I feel like it's anybody's game. I think Djokovic is obviously the guy to beat, and he's playing with a ridiculous amount of confidence. He's taking it match by match. He wants to make history. Yeah. Um, we have guys like Medvedev who are just sick and tired of not winning a Grand Slam, and they right. want to you know what I mean. Zverev too, like those guys we talk about that that are guys that. that uh, can really uh, can really make an impact, but yeah. we have all these younger guys, man. Well, it's amazing. We have all these younger guys making a huge, huge impact, totally. and they're playing insane. Totally, and it's funny. It's like this is. I think one of the reasons I was thinking about this. One of the reasons I feel like specifically this tournament mm-hmm. is like the tournament where it's anybody's game, and like you said, because people are playing at a higher level, they're more. Like they're just more consistent, not in terms of like getting the balls in court, but yeah. just in terms of their performance, right? Yeah. Like mentally stronger, uh, just more confident, things like that. Like they're just there, they're yeah. present. And the reason is, and I think, and I was saying, you're saying Djokovic is the guy to beat, mm-hmm. right? But think about it. Djokovic is always, because of how the last you know ten years have gone, mm-hmm. is linked to Federer and, and Nadal. It's like the big three. The fact that Federer and Nadal are not in this tournament, people people are small like they taste blood, right? It's oh, like yeah. it's, it's like, like they taste it. They're out. They're like, this is like a new. This is new territory. 100%. Djokovic is he is even though he just won the last three Grand Slams, even though he's about to, you know he's he's uh, the person who's about like he's about to who knows maybe he'll he'll make history, right? Yeah. He'll make, he's potentially going to win twenty one, win the 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 calendar Grand Slam, but because. Fed is out because Nadal is out yeah. because they're getting like they're getting old right they're like right on the they're on the cusp of retirement oh, yeah. it's like Djokovic is there with they're them sensing, yeah. they're dragging him down and these new guys Verev, Medvedev yeah. you know talk about Felix mm-hmm. uh, even players a sinner people who who've just been there for a while now um, they taste it, taste it. Yeah. they taste blood I mean we talk about like you go a couple of years back I mean you look at a draw and you're thinking 
in order for me to be to realize my dream of being a Grand Slam champion, you got to take out Nadal, Federer, and Djokovic yeah. arguably in the same tournament. Yeah, and it's that like, is bananas. Yeah, you're not. That's crazy. Think about that how crushed, like, that's that crushes like, like, you. Borderline, like you, you're defeated just like looking at the draw because you're like, this is like almost an impossible what task. Do I do? You need somebody like a Walrinka who's just going to tree off his ass <laughs> for seven matches to, and maybe get a double yeah, time. Yeah. Right? But like, it's 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 extremely extremely like daunting of a task, right. right? Now. We have, you know, obviously Djokovic still seems like an impossible challenge. I mean, he still looks like he, like he's like light years ahead of everybody. But, but it's like exactly what you said. You can taste it. It's like realistically, you need to do what's there with it, right? In the Olympics, it's like you got to play your game, and beat the people, the players that you're supposed to beat, and then you got to step up and show up against Djokovic yeah. and hope and pray that the pressure gets to him and he gives you a couple of weak service games. You get a couple early breaks right. and you, you run with it. Well, I almost feel like the way I view it now is like. And I don't know if you'll agree with this, but it's almost like a domino effect, right? Yeah. The top two, well, like the, the two out of the three have fallen or are falling, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and as a result, the next domino, so like, let's say like Djokovic, Nadal, Federer are falling. As a result, the next domino, who I'd, I'd say is like Zverev, Medvedev, they're like, okay, now because they, they're falling, they're like, okay, now we got that. But they're not, they haven't established themselves as no. like, you know, unbeatable. Right. And then you so the guys, guys that are below, younger yeah. who are the next level are like, oh my beat. god, yeah, I can, I can, beat. I can, I can beat him. Yeah, and yeah. then it's like, and then that's when you go into okay, guys who are outside the top hundred, guys are, and what are we seeing? What are we seeing in this tournament? Yep. We're seeing, you know, a, a guy, a, a vendor, a Van Dezenschlup. He's what one hundred seventeen in the world. Peter, I'm not gonna even try and say his name. <laughs> I'm not gonna. He just lost to to Alcaraz. Uh, Gajo, Gajo chick, right? Yes, right. I, I don't know. He's like 141 in the world. Mm-hmm. These guys like are, and then, and then you're looking at, you know, you're looking at the draw. You're looking at how they perform throughout the tournament. You know, uh, Zanschlup, yeah, uh, Zanschlup, he he qualified, right? Yeah. But you were saying every qualification match, well, three sets. sets. How the I, margins are so small. Absolutely. It's so close, and I think like now you're seeing this effect where it's like, okay, it's anybody, not. Not truly anybody's game, but it's like people are out for, for their they taste blood. You're yeah. right. They're like, okay, we can we can really do something here, and yeah. it's and you're seeing that in this U.S. Open, and it's so much more interesting. That's the thing. I it's mean, so I talked to a lot of people, avid tennis fans, people that are just getting into the sport mm-hmm. recently because I, I I wanted to get their opinion on it, and diverse backgrounds when it comes to the sport of tennis. However, all of them saying the same thing. Yeah. This tournament is electrifying. And don't get me wrong, it's yourself, and it's always electrifying every single year, yeah. right? The crowds are going bananas, like we know that. But there's like a different air right. in the tournament. It's something fresh, something we haven't really seen. And maybe we've seen like glimmers of it in previous tournaments, which we have, but the idea that like like we have these guys that like like for example, like like if you look at like the draw, like if Medvedev doesn't get to the final, like we have potentials of people that are like you would never expect to right, the Grand Slam that are in the Grand Slam Hundred percent. So it's like it's it's something that I think is um, I think it's needed in the sport. I uh, think I think listen. I think Djokovic, Nadal, Federer, Murray. These guys have done so much for the sport to grow it, and they have, and they've done a tremendous job. Right. But I think now the sport needs new blood. I right. think the sport needs new life. I think the sport needs um, kind of like it's more exciting when you don't know. Who could win? Right. Like it makes me think a little bit of like, like late eighties, early nineties tennis before right. like the scene before like Sampras and Agassi started to dominate. Right. right. But right as they were coming up, you had like Lendl there. You had like these guys that like you had like remember like Agassi couldn't win a Grand Slam, but then right. like Courier would win, Michael Chang would win. Like you had these guys that were like all contending and fighting to see who was going to be right. the next like dominant guy. And I think we're kind of in that stage. It's right, and it's funny how the sport repeats itself. 100%. It goes through phases, right? Hundred percent. And it's like now it's it's it, we're in this phase of like you know the top lions of the pride are kind of falling off, and we have all these young cats looking to make an impact and kind of claim their territory and be like, no, 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 I'm here. I want to be the next person because here's the thing: it, the, a big reason I think why these three guys have been so dominant, besides the point that they're physically incredible and they, you know they they you know they've reached heights of sport that we've never seen. But there's also this this mental block that goes with it. Like the more successful they've gotten, the more of a mental block the rest of the players on right. the court have when right. they play. Them. Right, right. So it's like it only helps them. Right. right. You know what I mean? Right. And now it's only hurting them because it's like like you mentioned, 
if if they think, okay, well, you know, Djokovic just lost to Zverev and I beat Zverev two tournaments ago. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's like, whoa, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, now there's, 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 there's a chance. Yeah, there's a chance. You know? And I don't have to beat all three of these guys. Right. Two of them have end up injuries. Team is another guy who was a Grand Slam champion and he's not he's now out. Yeah. Right? You know what I mean? So it's, 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 it's there. It's up for anybody's grasp.